Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're doing something a little bit different. Uh, we are rendering fat today. We're going to turn fat in the lard. This is uh, a whole box of um, lard that we, uh, fat that we got off of a pig that we raised on our homestead. And um, I've had it in the freezer for a while. And I don't know what we have here, maybe 50 pounds of fat. Okay, when you get this from the butcher, it comes in big chunks like this. And um, so to make the process go a little bit faster, we're going to have to cut this up and uh, almost like bite size uh, pieces and it should uh, speed up the process. So let's get to doing that. Okay, now we've got a good sharp knife. Let's uh, go ahead and cut this up and do uh, to bite sized pieces. This is kind of this is kind of frozen a little bit. So the idea is I'll just kind of show you. I'm not going to bore you with the whole entire process, but we're just going to try not to cut myself. <laughs> <laughs> we're just going to cut this up in just pieces like that. Nothing fancy. Doesn't have to be exactly how I do it. Just just cutting them up. So that's what I'll be doing for the next 20 minutes, and then uh, I'll show you when we go to put it in the crock pot. Okay, so we this is frozen really really hard, having a difficult time cutting it with a knife. So my dad got the idea. Let's use the bandsaw. That's what we're doing. We're using the bandsaw. Pretty good at that, right? Thanks. Chopping up that those hunks. Yeah. You got that method down good. I can see that. Okay, so I lied. That did not take 20 minutes. That uh, actually took about two and a half hours. Um, we uh, the bandsaw worked good, and then we started running into problems at the end because. It was so the the bandsaw was so lubricated that it kept coming off, and, but uh, we we finally got it. We have two crock pots completely full, and we still have a, a large box still full. So I'm, I'd imagine for the next couple of days, my dad's going to be uh, here rendering fat. He doesn't even know that yet, so <laughs> he's going to be stuck with this if he doesn't get it done. <laughs> No, so, but I think I'll share my lard with them though. It's good for cookies. If you guys ever had uh, uh, cookies with lard in it, um, it is the best. Share in the comments uh, what your favorite um, recipe is using lard. Okay, so something that we totally realized that we forgot to mention is that when you put in your um, chunks of your uh, lard and everything, is you want to make sure and put a half a cup of water in. Uh, with it um, because what does that do it <laughs> i don't know what it does <laughs> <laughs> okay and the reason why you put water in it it just helps the process start right off the bat because if you just put it in there in a hot pot your um lard will, st will start to stick to the bottom um so this was just and and all the all the liquid will start to um, uh, evaporate. Although I have rendered lard without putting any water whatsoever, and it worked just fine. So it's not a crucial or critical part of the step putting water in. But I just found that it's it helps a little bit. Well, one of the one of the perks of uh, coming over here to your mommy's house is she she makes me um, brownies.
Okay guys, we're here on day two. Uh, we just kind of let it um, on a lull overnight in the crock pots. I just barely turned them up. So it's starting to boil now, I'm trying to speed up the process. And um, last night we made, uh, we put some in a cast iron pot and I made some uh, on our wood burning stove. So that produced about five pints and uh, one quart jar. Okay, so now we're to the point where I'm gonna probably turn this one down. This one's looking good. It's just kind of frothy and a little bit on top. We're gonna start ladling this out into our um, our uh, pint jars. Uh, I use um, cheesecloth with with like two layers, and so I found that uh, more than two layers, it it uh, doesn't allow it to drain very fast, and I'm impatient, so uh, it holds the bits out. It'll work. Let's do it. So if you look at this, this is just in the liquid form. It's kind of a, a brown tint, but I promise you when it um, cools off, this will turn into a, a white um, a cream, like really Crisco. And so it'll, it'll turn white. And uh, when you get down to the little last bit you're trying to render, sometimes it turns into a tint of uh, uh, brown I'll, I'll use that anyways I still use that probably I give the what I do is I give the white uh, bottles that are um, so, solid white I give them to my wife for making pastries and and, and cooking and then with the, uh, the more browner tint ones um, I use that for curing my Dutch ovens and cast iron pans I could uh, have uh, successfully turned the fat and the lard and what we have left here is what is known as cracklins. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, uh, just bake it for a little bit to finish it off in the in the oven to make these uh, a little more crisp. Um, these go really good on your eggs and and sometimes just a snack. Uh, so we still have a lot of lard, um, a lot of fat left. Um, well, probably, what do you think, about two more mm -hmm. crock pots fulls of lard and two crock pots made this. Check this out, guys. So this is it. This is the finished product. Um, made 15 jars of, of lard. Um, as you can see, some are, some are hotter than those. This one was the last one done. It's really hot. It's kind of a, looks like honey. Um, this one over here is, is getting cooler. You can see it's starting to turn white a little bit. And it'll be uh, it'll be snow white. It'll be clear. Um, again, the ones that don't uh, turn white, um, I use for barbecuing and and outdoor stuff. And the white ones I give to my wife to make uh, cookies. Well, this was a success. This is how uh, you make fat into lard, cooking lard. Okay, guys. So. Uh, I just want to show you real quick, um, I threw this one in the freezer to show you uh, how it turns white, how this is liquid and this is so, uh, solid now. Um, I'll show you. It's actually sealed. Stone sealed it. Yeah. Alright, also, I have an idea. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but I don't get paid anymore from YouTube um, because I have kids on my vlogs, and those who have kids on their vlogs don't get paid. And so I'm trying to come up with creative ways to make a little extra money. And so what I thought is, the first person to donate us some money, um, a donation, we will send you um, one of our one of these uh, with lard, homegrown from a pig off of our own homestead farm. Uh, I thought that'd be kind of fun. So. Um, I'd say the first person to donate ten thousand dollars gets the uh, gets a jar <laughs> or, or or a dollar. I don't care anywhere in between. It's fine. All right, guys, um, we're done. This was a lot of fun. Um, I learned a lot. Hope you did too. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.